What is Adobe Analytics? Adobe Analytics is a powerful digital marketing analytics tool that allows organizations to collect, analyze, and act on customer data across websites, mobile apps, and other digital channels. It enables data-driven decision-making by providing real-time insights into user behavior, conversion metrics, and campaign performance using segmentation, visualization, and predictive tools. What are the key components of Adobe Analytics? Key components include reports and analytics, core data reporting, ad hoc analysis, formally discover, deep dive analysis with segmentation, data workbench, advanced data mining and predictive modeling, analysis workspace, drag and drop interface for custom reports, mobile app analytics, tracking mobile specific engagement. These work together to provide comprehensive cross-channel insights. What is an EVAR and how is it different from a prop? An EVAR conversion variable tracks user behavior over a longer session persisted, ideal for attribution. A prop traffic variable records data on the page it occurs, non-persistent. For example, using an EVAR, you can attribute a conversion to a specific campaign visited earlier, while a prop only tracks the current page view. What are success events in Adobe Analytics? Success events are metrics that measure user actions, such as form submissions, downloads, purchases, or logins. They help quantify how users interact with your digital properties and can be tied to eVars for attribution analysis. How does Adobe Analytics differ from Google Analytics? Customization. Adobe is more customizable. EVARs, props, success events. Data ownership. Adobe provides full data ownership. Real time reporting. Both offer real time data, but Adobe's segmentation is more powerful. Cost. Google Analytics GA4 is free for most. Adobe is a premium enterprise solution. What is Analysis Workspace? Analysis Workspace is a flexible drag-and-drop interface in Adobe Analytics where analysts can create visualizations, breakdowns, and custom reports using components like dimensions, metrics, segments, and date ranges. It supports real-time exploration with rich visualization capabilities. Explain the difference between visit, visitor, and hit. Hit, a single interaction, page view, click. Visit. A session of interactions by a user within a time frame. Visitor, a unique user tracked across sessions using cookies or IDs. What are segments in Adobe Analytics? Segments are filters applied to data to isolate specific user groups or behaviors, like mobile users from US in Termit, or visitors who purchased last 30 days in Termit. You can build segments using conditions like dimensions, metrics, and timeframes. How can you track internal search in Adobe Analytics? By capturing the search keyword entered using custom props or EVARs, EM, EVAR1 equals search term, and setting a success event on search initiation. You can then analyze which keywords users are searching for and optimize accordingly. What is a data layer and how is it used in Adobe Analytics? A data layer is a structured JavaScript object embedded on web pages that holds page level and user level data. It helps ensure consistent, clean data collection and is used in conjunction with Adobe Launch or DTM for tag management. How does Adobe Launch work with Adobe Analytics? Adobe Launch is a tag management system that allows you to deploy Adobe Analytics tracking and other tags without touching the code base. It uses rules, conditions, and data elements to send data to Adobe Analytics when specific actions occur. What are calculated metrics? Calculated metrics allow users to create custom formulas using existing metrics such as conversion rate equals orders by visits. These metrics can be created in Analysis Workspace and used across reports and dashboards. What is the difference between hit-based and visit-based segments? 
Hit-based segments filter individual interactions. Visit-based segments filter the entire session if any hit matches. This affects what data is included in the segment and can lead to different interpretations. How is attribution handled in Adobe Analytics? Adobe Analytics allows various attribution models, first touch, last touch, linear, etc., via eVAR expiration settings and the attribution IQ tool. You can analyze how different touch points contributed to conversions. What is the report suite in Adobe Analytics? A report suite is a data container for a specific website, app, or business unit. It defines the scope of data collection, segmentation, and reporting. You can have multiple report suites per organization. What are classifications in Adobe Analytics? Classifications allow you to group and label values in dimensions, like campaign IDs or product SKUs, to create human-readable reports, e.g. campaign A instead of CMP underscore 001. How do you debug Adobe Analytics implementation? Use tools like Adobe Experience Platform Debugger, Charles Proxy, or browser network tools to inspect the beacon requests and validate variables, events, and values being captured. What is the marketing channel processing rule? It defines how incoming traffic is categorized into marketing channels like email, paid search, or direct. These rules are processed server-side based on referrer, query parameters, or landing page URL. What are virtual report suites? Virtual report suites are subsets of your main report suite data using segment filters. They allow different teams or stakeholders to see relevant data without needing separate implementations. What is the difference between custom metrics and calculated metrics? Custom metrics, defined in Admin Console, persistent, and can trigger events. Calculated metrics, created by users in Analysis Workspace, derived from existing metrics. How can you ensure data quality in Adobe Analytics? Conduct regular audits using debugger tools, validate EVARs, events, props against business rules, use automated alerting and dashboards for anomalies, ensure data layer consistency. How is cross-device tracking handled? By using visitor ID stitching via customer IDs, CRM IDs, and device graphs provided by Adobe People Core Services. This helps unify user activity across devices. Explain real-time versus non-real-time reporting. Real-time reporting provides immediate insights with a limited set of metrics and dimensions. Non-real-time, standard reports, are comprehensive and processed periodically, typically within 90 minutes. What are data sources in Adobe Analytics? Data sources allow importing offline or external data, e.g. call center data, into Adobe Analytics using CSV or FTP uploads, enhancing the 360-degree view of the customer. How is Adobe Analytics integrated with Adobe Experience Platform AEP? Adobe Analytics data can feed into AEP via Customer Journey Analytics, CJA, enabling cross-channel analysis, unified customer profiles, and advanced segmentation within the platform.